Happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, it's group therapy night. I know I've been kind of slacking on this lately, but uh, we do actually have a really good topic for tonight, and my dear friend Fritz is here to talk to us all about that, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, a um, couple of programming notes, because I know we've been over this, but I just want to remind everyone, we've got some changes coming up in the next week. Um, so Friday, we're doing the usual fork knifing for Friday night shooty fights. Um, we're doing um, Sunday, we're doing Farming Simulator 19. Uh, that was NS's uh, you pick pick. So if you want to pick something, do exclamation point you pick in the chat. And then you can find out how to use your channel points to pick what game that we play for Sunday shenanigans. Uh, and then Monday. Can I, can, I, can I play that with you guys? Is it multiplayer or is it single player? It says it's multiplayer co-op. So we're going we're gonna to stumble through it and figure it the fuck out. Okay. Well, I would if you if there is room, I would be I would be down to try it. I think it says it's up to six players. So, um, so we, yeah, we'll figure that out on Sunday. That's you know, that's later stuff. That's future us's problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the uh, next Monday um, is a special show. I'm going live an hour and a half early. Uh, so myself, our dear friend Mo, Firepower, and Cracko. We are playing golf with your friends, which basically equates to us beating the hell out of Krako for four hours, uh, which I'm, you know, I'm down for. Um, so really looking forward to that. Um, I think that's going to be a really fun time. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll see how all that goes. Um, but in the meantime, tonight is group therapy night. And I think it's time to transition over to the chill stuff. Let's get the chill station going. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Okay, so uh, in the Discord earlier this week, uh, by the way, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Uh, we have a lot of great stuff. Mostly critters and food, and memes pumped out by one of, like, usually three people. Um, but um, we do have a group therapy channel, and it's just a place where we can talk about stuff, whether it's stuff related to group therapy night, or if you want to just come and you've got stuff on your mind you want to discuss with everyone, we can kind of come in and bring it there. Um, but uh, my good friend Fritz, he's here. Uh, Fritz and I have known each other for close to 13 years now. Uh, he and I actually met uh, online um, not long after I moved to Florida in 2008. Um, and uh, we've been friends ever since. Um, and uh, he reached out earlier this week in the group therapy channel. And he's like, hey, I've, you know, I've got an idea for a topic. I'd like to talk about, um, you know, finding ways to keep yourself engaged in an activity for extended periods of time. And he kind of wanted to come on and talk about some of his experiences um, and hope that maybe, you know, uh, other folks can kind of take advantage of that and, and you know, uh, use that to their benefit. Um, and then I thought, hey, this is a great idea for all of us to come together and say, hey, what's something that I really, you know, I, I enjoy doing and how do I keep myself engaged in that kind of activity? Um, so, uh, yeah, with that, uh, Fritz, if you want to go ahead and sort of introduce yourself and take it away, bud. Okay. Uh, my name is Fritz. I'm a uh, 40 year old male in, uh, Sacramento. Um, married me and my wife have been married for seven years now. Um, I've kind of been struggling uh, with some mental health stuff for at least uh, 12 years. Um, and I've kind of been having some recent trouble staying engaged in activities I'd normally uh, find uh, to be very enjoyable. Uh, some of those activities include uh, building things out of Lego bricks. Um, if you were to uh, look up my stuff, um, you know, see, I used to keep a uh, Lego blog. I haven't done that in a while and hope to pick that back up again here soon. Um, also enjoy playing video games uh, like uh, Zach and some of our other uh, people here on stream. Um, let's see what else. <coughs> uh, 
there'd be baseball, but my Minnesota Twins suck right now, so that's not enjoyable. <laughs> um, uh, and then uh, it, it's summer, so there's no uh, University of Minnesota Golden Gopher athletics going on right now. I am watching the Olympics, and there are some gophers there, but, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it takes up some time, and, and you know, I can't sit around watching the Olympics all day. I got to work and stuff, too. So, but, um, yeah, I just, you know, here to kind of talk and, and um, you know, hopefully I can help some of you out there who are maybe finding it more difficult right now to continue on your current path in life and find enjoyment out of the things you normally would enjoy. Cool, man. Awesome. So, um, I mean, yeah, let's kind of jump right into it. So, you know, I know you, you mentioned some of the stuff that you enjoy, like especially stuff like that is kind of off season right now. Um, you know, between your, your, your college sports and then we'll call it off season for the twins. Cause like you said, they're, uh, they're not doing so hot right now. No, they're terrible. Um, <laughs> Um, but I know that, you know, you're a huge fan of all things Lego, um, and you do a lot of, you, you like to play through a lot of, um, classic retro games. Um, so, uh, you want to kind of dive in and talk about some of the struggles that you've had and kind of ways that you've been trying to uh, work on that and kind of work around that. Well, uh, the Lego stuff is, is a bit tough right now. Uh, first of all, that requires, you know, unfortunately, Good, good amount of money to buy new sets and, and assemble them. Um, my wife and I, we just bought a house in January. So of course now with the house payment, there's less uh, money that's flexible in the budget. And that includes uh, buying things and building them out of Legos. Um, I've got a number of boxes sitting around where I need to reassemble things made of Legos because they all kind of fell apart in uh, the move to California from Minnesota. Um, and it's just trying to figure out what to do with all that stuff and how I want to tackle assembling it. Uh, in terms of classic games, I think I kind of painted myself into a bit of a corner with that. Um, broadcasting on Twitch, I, I think I was holding myself too closely to a schedule like it was set in stone. It's not. It's... Excel. Excel can be easily edited. Um, and, you know, as being too hard on myself for not sticking with it. And I think that's probably, I got to be kinder to myself. Yep. I understand that. I understand that all too well. Yeah. Uh, I'm also hoping. Uh, with streaming, um, you know, since I never planned to, to do anything monetarily with that, you know, use it to become a full-time thing or even make a little bit of money. Um, I've set my stream up to benefit the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Maybe I can help pay it forward and make somebody else's life a bit easier. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, we all have our struggles. We're all trying to do the best we can. Um, and, you know, we all need help at some times. Some of us, you know, we, we may be going through periods where we're a little too proud to ask for it. But, um, you know, anything I can do to, to help out somebody who's kind of in the same boat I am, um, I have no problem trying to at least help them out. Yeah. I think that's kind of what we're here to do, too, is... Um you know, we all have things that we struggle with. And I think, especially over the last 18 months, um, there's been a lot of, you know, with just with all the massive changes in day to day lifestyle, um, it's been a lot harder for us to focus because there's so much other shit on our mind and life has been disrupted, you know. Um, like life now for, for the vast majority of us looks nothing like it did 18 months ago. Um, so, you know, for a lot of us, we're still adjusting to that. 
and spending so much mental and emotional energy on that that it takes away from the the sort of you know brain power that we need to stay engaged with the stuff that we enjoy doing. Um, you know, I, I for me, I'm um, I'm I'm a much more extroverted type of person. Um, obviously, for anybody who's been here for any length of time, you know that. Um, what? What? I know that's ridiculous. Um, but it's just one of those things where you know, depending on sort of what those those activities and those outlets are, is kind of determines whether you. whether you're able to do them because of or in spite of you know all the other shit going on um streaming is the perfect example for me and i've talked about this before um but i was you know mentally i was run down like i was i i hadn't been around anybody for so long and because i'm so extroverted being around people is how i recharge so streaming for me has been sort of that way to reconnect to people um and it's kind of the thing that keeps me you know charged up from day to day now um and like between you know having the people aspect of it um you know the the design work that goes into it the broadcast and production aspect of it all um like this is all sort of like stuff that's part of my core so having this stuff and like keeping it on a schedule for me actually works out really well. Um, and that's why I've always been so strict about how I time everything and, and stuff like that because it's that actually helps recharge and boost me. Um, and it's kind of seeped into other parts of my life, like my work day. Um, you know, while I am still pretty burnt out on just the, the day-to-day -day work, having something like this and this structure in place does kind of help me deal with the other stuff because I'm able to go in and, and do the work that I have to do. I say go in. I mean, my work laptop's right here, but I'm able to get up in the morning, do the work that I need to do because I know that, you know, later, if not the day of the next day, I've got stream coming and I know that'll, that'll help, you know, recharge my battery some. Um, so yeah, I think I'm, I kind of have the, the opposite thing as you Fritz, whereas, you know, it, it's kind of been hard for you to keep a schedule just because of the energy that it takes to go into it. For me, I, I actually end up getting more energy out of it just because of, you know, my nature. Um, so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I think just again with the whole the whole fucking world being in upheaval, it's been really hard for people to to be able to enjoy things like they used to because one, there's so many things that we can't enjoy like we used to. Um and two, like you said, you know, some of this stuff it costs money to do. Um, you know, thankfully I'm I'm in a really good place to where I can kind of feed some of these hobbies like streaming um but also you know there's other stuff that you just it's it's inaccessible for whatever reason um and it makes it really hard to to be able to do that kind of stuff don't mind me sipping on my tea I will not mind you sipping on your tea. Go ahead and enjoy your tea. Well, thank you. Um, You're welcome. Bone apple tea? Bone apple tea. Um, now, I know for people like Lollipop, you know, this has actually been sort of the opposite effect. Um, because the things that he enjoys doing, he does at home already. So now not having a commute and not having to go into the office, I know has been a lot better for you because now you can, you know, take time out of your, in the middle of the day, if you need to step away and do something to just kind of like even decompress from work a little bit, you have that opportunity now where you didn't before, you know? Mm-hmm. So, 
but like have what's what's sort of been your experience you know like do you, are, are you finding it harder to stay focused on stuff or because of your introverted nature are you finding it easier to focus on the things that you enjoy honestly for me it varies from day to day i don't know i i think it just i'm sure it has some kind of effect but i think it's less for me because mm -hmm. i haven't I, I, for the most part i'm i'm in a good spot and as long as i can kind of stick to getting stuff done like sometimes i'll fall into a rut but most of the time i think i'm okay yeah I see Aunt Bubba in the chat. Aunt Bubba is is actually that's Fritz's wife, Amy. So hi, Amy. Hi, sweetie. Um. So yeah, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I think I think everybody kind of falls into those ruts. You know, it's just it's kind of the nature of of being human. Um. But I. You know, I've I've heard from several people who are more introverted that, you know, this is this is sort of like a blessing and a curse because you you've had the chance to do all of these things and, and focus on yourself internally and have your quiet your you time, but then there's like the shock of going back out into the world as the world tries to start spinning back up again. So it's you know it's good for a time and then it's bad and I know mm -hmm. like Elena I know you've talked about this a couple of times you know just you're kind of I know at one point you were dreading going back into work full time um, as opposed to doing like your week on week off schedule yeah that's 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 not happening anytime soon basically um, they've said that as long as COVID regulations are quarantined they are not seeing a way to bring us all back, but yeah. I don't know. I I was stressed for a while with it, but not because of like having to stay home, more because of like work split stuff. And then it was okay for a while, and now I've just hit burnout. But I have no idea if that's actually COVID related or other shit related at this point. So it's kind of just like whatever. Yeah, I, I know for me, my work burnout is. It's a combination of the two. I think I think COVID was the catalyst for it, but I think it's kind of been a long time coming for me just because of my relationship with code. It just it's always been a hobby. I didn't want to do it for a job. And I know I've been over this before, but um you know, it's kind of like okay, this is a job. It's it's a job now. I still find fun projects like the multi-stream, um, but it's a job. It's I'm just like I, I I think this whole situation with having to possibly go to customer service is like really hitting worse than I would like it to. I, I can imagine so, yeah. So that's just kind of my like where I'm at with it. it it's le like that would be full work from home so like it was funny like my my supervisor was like going through the pros and cons for me and she's like you said you wanted to work from home i'm like a i'm not so sure i focus well enough for that anymore and b um i'm not seeing that as enough of a benefit to outweigh some other things yeah yep So. Return. Oh, welcome, welcome back. back from the chickens. Thanks. I posted a picture. I'm letting it marinate a little bit before I dig in. Mike, what's One up, day. buddy? How are you? Uh, I'm sorry, Fritz, were you about to say something? Uh, yeah, I was going to kind of mention, um, you know, I've kind of let things kind of affect my work lately because uh, I've kind of hit a mental roadblock trying to put a report together. But 
I did get kind of recharged um, yesterday. I went into the office and sat down with a few of my colleagues um, to compare uh, a report I had to a report they had. Um, for anybody who may be curious, uh, I work for California Department of Fish and Wildlife. I help manage the software that they use to keep track of all the fish they are growing in their hatcheries. So, oh, that's pretty uh, cool. From yeah, from broodstock fish, fish which are uh, the ones that are reproducing, mm -hmm. uh, gather the eggs and the malt, uh, you know, to fertilize the eggs, and then after the eggs hatch, you know, they're baby fish, and we grow them up to a point where uh, we're ready to release them to the. Uh, rivers and lakes of California. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, it, it's great. Um, and just being able to sit down and, and work with some of my colleagues on some of that stuff uh, kind of helped refresh me a little bit because, you know, this is the first time I was actually sitting down face to face working with somebody on my team for the first time in 18 months. Um, we didn't get our reports finished yet. Uh, we'll go back and do that later this week and uh, make sure to do so with uh, proper masks in place and all that fun stuff. But I mean, being able to kind of reconnect with somebody in person and you know, you got your usual people who, that everybody's in contact with lately, but I mean, to go somebody outside of your inner circle and, and know that there are uh, other people in the world who care for you and want uh, to work with you, want you to be well, and you want them to be well as well, you know, it, it really helped uh, reinvigorate me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, um, I've... I think I think one of the the side effects of again everything going on is people are kind of going to one of two extremes really um, and unfortunately for some people it's bringing out some of the worst traits in them but for a lot of others it really is bringing out the best and it's showing that while there are a lot of folks that you know, who seem like they prefer to not be so kind um, as a default setting. Um, there are a lot of other people who are who are truly showing their humanity um, and kind of coming back to you know the 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 concept that we are all in this together. Like this is something that I've I've sort of preached to my um, dev teams for a long time um, you know when I was um, my previous company I was there for about six years and for about two of two years of that I was running um, two and a half years I was running the junior developer group uh, for one of the products at the company and you know we worked alongside the product support team uh, the technical support team and you know, we would joke back and forth with them and, and give a lot of good-natured ribbing. Um, but one of the things that I reminded my team was that we're kind of all in this together, you know. Either we all get there together or we don't get there at all. And the whole point is that there's always going to be times that we have differences with folks um and you know there might be some some little things that we we just may not see eye to eye on or someone may have something that you know again the sort of the software example was we would get these bug reports in and they might not have all the details we need or um you know somebody might have not filled out a section correctly or whatever and it's I know there are frustrating time or frustrating things that we deal with at times, but once again, it's just we kind of have to work to lift each other up and not tear each other down. Because again, either we all get there together or we don't get there at all. Um, and I think 
a lot of of that is again sort of making itself much more evident in the world right now um and i'd like to think that you know we're in a a place here where um you know we're we're trying to lift each other up and and that's sort of the whole point of of what we do here at group therapy night is you know find ways to lift each other up and and push each other in in a good direction and and help each other get there um and i'm i'm very glad that you know we have we have a a a small but very good group of folks in our community um and you know i i spend a lot of time throughout my day and week you know talking with um with several of of y'all and um you know we we have our shit that we deal with every day um whether it's work or personal life or whatever it may be um but um we uh we're still kind of here for each other and kind of checking in on each other and making sure that we're doing okay um and that's that's really important and i think that i i I couldn't be more thankful for the group of folks that we do have here for that dude for real huh well stated for real yeah Mm -hmm. absolutely one million percent I, i don't know what i would do without you guys Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. This, that uh, we're all in this together attitude is is very um, appropriate. And uh, it's something I kind of take to heart, too. Um, you know, for those of you who may not have noticed, or I'm sure most people have figured it out by now, I'm from the upper Midwest portion of the United States, uh, North Dakota, Minnesota. What? Oh. I would not have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that was a sarcasm strong enough on that? Mm, just a smidge. Just a skosh. Just just check it. <laughs> hey, if, if you I, I mean that in a bad way, but it's it's that's not that's not a surprise. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's OK. Um, it, a thing I loved watching as a kid and, and even as an adult, it's something I got uh, Aunt Bubba hooked on. Yeah, you know, when we uh, were married, um, is this great Canadian television show called The Red Green Show. Um, you know, it's by this guy, Steve Smith. Um, he uh, did this show for 15 years for CBC, and it was rebroadcast on a lot of PBS stations uh, across the U.S., and he'd always have these segments of his show, because it was kind of a sketch show, um, where he'd be sitting at his desk uh, talking to his contemporaries, so older gentlemen like himself, uh, giving them advice to kind of help him get through life. And he'd always end these segments by saying, um, hey, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together. Yo, yep. And that mindset is, is very, it's a very good one to have. Um, it's something I'm, I try to take to heart as much as I can yep. and try to send that forward to everywhere I am. Um, you know, I really sell to my colleagues at Fish and Wildlife that, yeah, I'm an IT guy. I'm not the one who's actually there at the fisheries, but it's my job to help you accomplish your jobs and your goals. Anything I can do to help you out and make things easier for you, better for you, and for all of us to accomplish our mission, that's what I'm here for. That's what I want to do. Yep. Um, same thing for a lot of people who I watch and support on Twitch. Um, I at least try to go in to people's channels during the day, say hello to them, you know, wish them well, hope they're doing well. Um, and, and kind of root for them, um, not just the people who are streaming, but the viewers too, that, you know, things are going well for them and they continue to go well for them. And, you know, I, I know not everyone is going to have something good going for them uh, all the time, but at least trying to show that, hey, I, I get it. Um, I just want you to be happy 
and um, things go well for you, you know, that kind of extra bit of support. And maybe that helps somebody uh, who is going through a, a tough time and realize that the world isn't out to get me. There are people out here who care for me and want me to do well. And, and that feels great. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, that's, that's something I'm, that I've, I've noticed too. Uh, you know, I, I, I spend a good portion of my day, um, you know, while I'm working and, and you know, I've got, again, folks that I'm usually chit chatting with throughout the day, like lollipop and, and, and Allie and, um, and I'm also, you know, I've got uh, other streamers that I'm watching during the day, just like you. And um, for the ones that I I watch the most, like our friend Tab, um, you know, I think Tab I is a, Tab. she's a great example of 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 that. Um, where you know she's, you know, we're there to to watch and 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 hang out, but we all like we're we're all there together. We're not just there just to watch tab we're all there to sort of hang out together and tab is sort of just she she facilitates that you know like sure she might be you know playing minecraft or rim world or whatever it might be um but she's you know she's just kind of hanging out with folks during the day like rocky rocky hello rocky i love you perfect example um you know, there's 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 a bunch of us who, whenever exactly. we're in chat with, you know, while Tab's streaming, and you know, one of us will come into chat, and then chat blows up with everybody excited to see them. Um, all caps. Rocky. All caps. All caps. So always. Damn. Like, it's 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 ridiculous. Thank you, Rocky. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, like we we get excited to see each other because we're, you know, the. the we spend a lot of time together. We do, we do, and like Tab is that common thread that brought us all together. But you know, we're we're kind of all there for each other, and and that's I think one of the things that that's that I love about you know the off stream aspect. Like it starts on stream. You know, we've got folks that that have come here, um, and from wherever else, whether it's from other streamers that we've kind of met each other through chat. Um, or whatever it may be, but once stream is over, we head over to the discord and, you know, again, we've got memes, we've got food, we've got so many critters. Um, yeah, we do. God, we have the best critters, but that's sort of, you know, that's, that's where it's sort of like come for the stream, but stay for the community, the stay for the family. Yeah. Like we all look out for each other and i think that's you know that's really really important um and just having that that's that community aspect and um you know community is what you make of it and uh, i think that you know for the folks that we have here i i, I think we have a, a damn good group of people um that that try to just spread a little joy to each other and that's you know, especially during times like this, I think that's so important. And that I think it helps um, that we, you know, have, we have these, these groups of people that, that are looking out for each other. Um, what's that, Rocky? Come for, the, come for the stream, stay for the family, stay for the, the Discord. That's, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's true. It is. It's, it's true. It's true. Um, but I mean, that's just, you know, that's, that's like Allie. Allie's a perfect example. She and I, we met through Tab, but didn't realize it until months later. Mm -hmm. And so we started hanging out and she's like, wait a minute. You watch Tab during the day too? And I'm like, yeah. And wait a minute. You're that voice? <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm the, I'm the other voice that's in Tab stream. When, when, when you hear random voices in Tab stream, that's not Glotz, that's usually me, <laughs> so, yeah. which is ridiculous. I was like, oh. <laughs> so, so during the day, I'm, I've got Tab open, Tab in a tab. Oh, it's Tab twice. Um, uh. But I got Tab in a tab 
And then, you know, I'm sitting here doing my thing, and then suddenly I hear my own voice. And this happens every, like, five minutes or so, five, ten minutes, which is hilarious. It's a little, it, it, it is a little freaky sometimes, but it's, you know, I just, I hear my own voice. Um, and so yeah, sometimes I'll be sitting in voice and you're like off doing something else. And I'm like, wait, I just heard Zunder. What? <laughs> where oh. did, I thought, it, where, oh, oh. when did he get back? <laughs> yeah. I thought he had a meeting. <laughs> oh. Hell. But yeah, um, it's just like this is especially with like lockdown and everything else. You know, yeah. this is a whole different world than where we were even like two years ago, a year and a half ago. Like it's yeah. everything is so different, regardless yeah. of whether people want to believe all of it or not. Like you can't you can't argue that things are not the same as they were before all the shit hit the fan yep so to speak yep um i one of the other things that this has kind of been great for me is that you know tom tom's my best friend in the world um like tom and i we would we do anything for each other i mean we married each other for god's sake um yep. but uh, you know a year and a half apart but that's details but the point is, um, it's just, well, I guess it's almost two years. Anyway. Um, yeah, well, you married him, and then he married you. Right, I, mean, I married what? him, then he married me. It's, yeah, it's fine. And the joke is that Tom was my first wife, which whenever I say that, um, you know, being still, she, she'll still shoot me a look when I say that. Um, but I mean, it's not wrong. No, it's not. Um, and she knows it. Um, so, but Tom, like, Tom moved to Raleigh, he, you know, several years ago now. Um, and that's tough, you know, when, when you're, it felt like a lot of people moved away in a very short amount of time. Um, and then the folks that didn't move, we kind of drifted apart just because of life and everything else that happens. Because, you know, life happens, things change. Um, people have shit that just they've got to do or shit they've got to take care of and and priorities change and whatever it may be um but i you know i've i've sort of during all of this i've had this realization that you know the people that i hung out with like six seven years ago here seven or eight years ago i guess now they're all gone basically all of them are gone um you know again whether they moved or they've got other stuff going on um and you know again a few years ago tom was one of those people and it was it was it was tough but you know tom's doing what was best for him i can't fault him for it but it does suck when your best friend moves so um mm -hmm. kind of doing all of this over the last several months um, has given me like this opportunity to hang out with Tom, you know, and now I talk to him, you know, like on voice, like I, I hear his voice and we do shit together, you know, multiple times a week. Um, and which we weren't doing before, like we were talking, but we weren't doing anything. And now, now we are, now we've got everything going on and it's, it's fantastic. And I'm like, I'm, I'm so, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled to bits that. You know, I can do shit with my best friend all the time. Um, and, you know, he's he's the one that encouraged me to get into this. Um, again, I know I've talked about this, but I, I talked to him for a while off and on about it. And back in like... I, I think it was it for everyday <gasps> hustling. Gene! Hello, Gene! Thank you. I love you. I miss you. Um, I can't wait for you to start streaming again soon. Um, here, you know what, while I'm thinking about it, um, if you're not following, um, my sweet friend, Jean, she's amazing. She's a sweet angel baby. And, um, it's been a while since she's been streaming, but she's going to start up again soon, soon. Um, so go soon follow TM. her soon TM. So go follow her. I love you. I love you so much. 
Um, Gene is actually one of the the first like fellow streamer friends that I that I um, that I met not long after I started streaming. Um, but we. Um, but yeah, like I when I was talking to Tom about doing this, he's I said I think I'm going to take the plunge. He's like it's about fucking time. He's like I've been telling you for ages you should be doing this. I'm like yeah well sure but fuck you. Um, <clears throat> but he's right. Like this is this is this has been like this has been my way to keep myself centered and focused on stuff. Um, and like like Rocky said, this is. Like the people that I've met on Twitch and doing this kind of thing, this is what's sort of kept me, kind of kept me together. I mean, obviously, you know, being too, but like just from a from from a personal standpoint, from just me, this has been the stuff that's been keeping me together and, and able to to kind of get through stuff and sort of get my focus back on track the last several months. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm really, really happy that I've met so many great people. Um, and, you know, like, I know, like, there's there's so many streams streamers that I watch and they're doing their thing. And great, great ice streamers. Good. More ice bear. More good. Oh, thanks for that follow. I appreciate that. Um, there's so many great people out there streaming. Um, but... I think one of the things that kind of like makes our community different is like the, the floating heads, the floating heads over here. There's, there's rarely a stream that goes by where I don't have heads floating next to me. I don't know which um, I'm uh, I thought we were the chuckle fucks. You chuckle yeah. chuckle. I, miss, I missed, I missed the memo. Chuckle chuckle. 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 Fuck fuck. Fuck, fuck. Um, but, like, I, I have the chuckle fucks on with me, like, practically every stream. And, you know, at the risk of getting too too mushy, um, I could not do this without having them here with me. Like, solo streams, I can do. It's not the same. It is absolutely not the same as having them here with me every stream even when elena is being a complete pain in my ass for her own amusement actually not, not most for of my the time? own amusement it's like also for your own your amusement i mean yeah but like you you have like to if admit you try to be night like if i try to be nice for too long you're kind of like where's troll lena <laughs> I start to worry that something's wrong with you if you're not giving me enough shit. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like, like there have been times <laughs> where I've been like, man, I don't always want to be the troll. I'll try to be nice. And then uh, you haven't said it in so many words, but you're basically like, where's troll Lena? And I'm like, I, I mean, all right. She's got a quota that she has to meet. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> like, like... You, th th it's mostly for your own amusement. Like, if you weren't amused by it, I wouldn't do it. I, I am not a I'm not a pure troll IRL like it, it's and I know that I mean I've I've spent time with you IRL I know that we've we've enjoyed we've enjoyed hot dog stand food together okay as long as you say stand food because I was like I have not enjoyed a hot dog and I will keep it that way <laughs> hot dogs are weird meat chicken is better something something Italian sausage um <laughs> Fair enough. Lude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's that's the thing. Like, you know, I got started. I was doing it by myself for a while. And then, you know, there was talk. Of, like, I, I, um, I kind of put it out in the world and said, hey, you know, what would y'all want to see me play? And there was a suggestion of Minecraft. I'm like, I like Minecraft. I haven't played it in a while. But fuck it, let's go. And then, you know, I'm talking to Lollipop about it because we're at work all day talking to each other. Like, Lollipop and I talk to each other more in a given day than we talk to our respective spouses. Accurate. Can confirm. Yes. Um, Although I do get some good TikTok memes out of the deal, so I mean, I can't really complain. That's also true. That's also true. We do. We, there's there's quality TikTok content that comes across our our desks 
um, from Lollipop. Um, but, you know, I talked to him about this. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to play Minecraft on stream. He's like, oh, you want to you want you want some company? I'm like, yeah, let's fucking let's let's do it. And so then he talks to um, he talks to Elena, you know, because, you know, he's talking to Elena about it. And Elena's like, can I come play Minecraft, Minecraft? too? Minecraft, 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 drugs, 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 Minecraft? drugs, drugs. Do, do drugs. you need a stream person to like, uh, <laughs> just like, like dig all the holes? Because I, I know, I, I know a person. Diggy, diggy hole. Like, like, Minecraft. Minecraft. And so then Tom's like, "Fuck it, I'll come play Minecraft <laughs> with y'all." Because Tom's here anyway, you know. No, you tricked Tom into it. I didn't trick you Tom into it. A uh, Tom. Would would fight you on that? Tom no, I didn't say that you tricked him into it. I didn't trick him into it. You added him to the channel, and he didn't know what it was for. He only was there because he's a mod. And we've had that discussion, right? And he stood steadfast that you tricked him into joining. I didn't trick him into joining. He could have just said no. It's because he thinks that doesn't mean he's right. See, see. <laughs> I'm just look. Tom's not here to defend himself. That's right. So that fuck Tom him. Ought to speak for what he has spoken many a time. Tom. So now you're trolling to Tom. No, 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 no. I'm, no, no. I'm trolling Zunder in place she's, of Tom. She's trolling me in place of Tom. Yes, exactly. In, Tom's not here to troll him. That's right. Like in Tom's does. defense, he makes a hell of a distraction. Boy, howdy he does, does he ever. That's that's he is the that's best still a potato great clip. distraction. That's still fantastic. Um, that is probably he, one my day he was clip. just like. Hey, look at me! I'm a potatoey fuck. And that other person was like, "I need to put bullets in him." And I was like, "I'm gonna put bullets in you." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, okay, Viv. So Mo, 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 Mo has been trying to to talk me into playing Java. Like she's been, she's practically been begging me to come play Java with her. Um, she's not the only one. I know she's, she's not, not the only one. I know she's not the only one, but she's the one that she's the one that's been going at it the hardest. Like she's still going at it the hardest, and she's uh, listen. As soon as Java has has native controller support, we'll talk. But oh I God. just, I just, I can't do the keyboard and mouse thing. It's just. It's too unnatural to me. For my you can do so it. I believe in you. But I've, if you don't want to learn that skill, I, I'm not going to be the one to force you. I've only ever uh, I've only ever played Minecraft with this controller. That's fine. That doesn't mean that it is the only way. And Java no, not at all. One that you could play with a lot of your friends and like you could do some cool things and we could kinda like we do some things in a better manner so we're not running into like walls we boxed ourselves into the first time and like like it would just be a lot of fun i think but, but <sighs> consider the good boy who loves cheese hidden i hid in i love your face <gasps> uh, that, yes, oh I my god it's a hidden boy hi hidden what if, what, if I, what if elliot played java I would, I would. That would be impressive. <laughs> First be of all, impressive. yes. First of all, that would be impressive. Second of all, I would consider it. Noted. So he I'll wouldn't do it for us, but he would consider it for, for Elliot. Elliot. Hmm. His love of I mean, Elliot is very. I mean, strong. Elliot is a very good boy. Also, not... to be fair, we to would be fair. To be we fair. would do a lot for that cat. To be fair. To be fair. I mean, same. Many of us who haven't even met said cat would do many a thing for that cat. Hello, Hidden. We're Welcome to group wrong. therapy night. You're No. Uh, and, and Zunder has even met Elliot, so he oh has even God, more. Oh my God, I love him so much. <coughs> even more He's reason. such a good boy. He does his mm. best. He does. He's not always the bestest of boys, but he does his best. Hold, please. I will retrieve the kitty. <sighs> what are we talking about? One more time. We're just talking about... One more time. There's the, the kitty. The very mouthy, oh, cheese-loving cat that lives in our house. Well, immediately, we were talking about Elliot. 
the very good boy who loves cheese. Overall, tonight we've been talking about trying to find ways to, to maintain focus on activities for extended periods of time, giving all of, well, gestures at everything. But also, the very good boy who loves cheese. No, no, this is, this is, this is how we receive our therapy. That's how we get therapy, is that, that guy right there, and all the other, the critters. But, um, yeah, so. Do you have something to say? Or are you just going to look mm. at me in betrayal because I picked you up? Oh. I'm such a good boy. Is he going to, is he going to yell at you? Oh, he absolutely loves cheese. Oh my God. He loves cheese so much. Oh, he so much. adores cheese. Like, if you even open anything that remotely sounds like a cheese wrapper, he will be at your feet, pawing you, potentially meowing at you. He, he loves cheese and he hates doors. And I'm not sure which he has a stronger feeling about. <laughs> he... <clears throat> Like if if anybody near if anybody like in the house again like Elena said like opens anything that remotely sounds like a cheese wrapper being opened, he does like the Mega Man teleport. Like the other day, she's on voice what? and she opens cheese and like suddenly she just goes, "You weren't even in the room. Where the hell did you come from?" Because she he was literally at her feet, like <laughs> waiting for cheese. He knows. He knows what the fuck is up. He he too, like myself, is a connoisseur of dairy. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Who among sounds us? Though? Like, uh, sounds like like he's fighting me right now. But if I had cheese right now, he would not be fighting me. That's fair. Sounds but like I do not uh, have cheese. My cat Henry uh, is so cute. When Aunt Baba and I, when we start to head upstairs uh, for the evening. Uh, we'll get some wet food out for the cats. And Daisy, if she sees us or hears us going into the kitchen, she's right there waiting for her gravy. Uh, that's what we like to call the wet food. Um, and she'll yell, meow, and, and she's like, all right, it's time. Give it to me now. It's, it's adorable. I mean, it's still cute, Hidden. Like, it's just, you know... It, it's it's cute at the time, and then later, <laughs> no, it's not. You know, you know what else isn't cute? Hey, remember, remember that time that G ate all the cream cheese? <laughs> we had this whole discussion wow. the other day, the, like the other day, <laughs> the other day. <clears throat> I was in Hidden Stream the other day, and she was yelling at G, like he was in chat, so she was just yelling at him while on stream because he ate all of her whipped cream cheese and he knew that she still had bagels left and he says that he warned her about eating the rest of the cream cheese she claims that is a lie so regardless yeah. she, he got her more cream cheese Viv and I told him just get her more cream cheese just shut up and get her more cream, cream cheese. Justice, like just, justice for hidden. Hashtag justice for hidden. Mm -hmm. At least HUD <clears throat> hidden gets justice. Kid Arena will never get justice, no, but hidden can. Here the fuck we go. Listen, you were you were acting like you didn't see this coming. You you set this one up. You you I literally I did. like. Well, okay. Allie set this one up. Allie literally like set this one up and like set it out there and was just like, hi. It's right here. Would you like it? I I mean, I I do have a job here. That's so weird. I didn't know you got paid. I get paid in entertainment. It's more like but an unpaid said, internship. Who who, who no, said no, getting no, no. paid has <laughs> to equal a financial change and exchange? Yeah, this this is not a financial exchange here. Oh or what no. I want it to be. I'll exchange your finances. What? Don't hurt me with a good time. I think she does all the, uh -huh. the financial exchangings in your house, buddy. She does, yes. <laughs> I was gonna she's, say she's she what is you... she is the one qualified to exchange the finances in your house. I'm the one who knows where the monies go. That's true, you do. You're the one who squirrels away the money. 
That's also true. Or Liam, like, for something. buy me a fence. <laughs> so much fence. <laughs> just, just <laughs> Elena, Elena just walks into the room and just like, fence, please. Just, that's, fence. that's literally what she did. Oh, no, I know. I know. Get me a fence. Let's go. Fence now. I, I, I dragged him around to, to, to a couple different spots, pulled it all out of its spots, and was like, can it have fence now, please? Plus. Like, plus. Fence. Plus. Plus. A fence, plus. Huh? I'd like thanks. to buy a fence. Thank you. Plus and thanks. Plus and thicks. Yep. Yep. That's. And he was just like stunned, like watching me. Like, he's like, "Is this enough?" I'm like, I literally had it down to like the exact amount. Yeah. Which, again, somehow shocking to him, somehow yet not shocking to me. He, after after all these years, he Ooh. still underestimates you, and that is his greatest weakness. That's fine. <laughs> He's allowed. He's allowed. He's allowed. Oh, Makes great. me look good, Thunder. Okay, like like. Hey, listen. I'll, I'll just keep the accolades. You you keep you keep doing you, boo boo. You, you do what you got to do. Listen, you keep you keep busting out money for fences. The world keeps on spinning. Uh, hopefully not. I hopefully I don't have to bust out money for like another fence for a long time. I mean, fair, I'd but like this to be the only fence. Thanks. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh... Like fences ain't cheap, and this one supposedly has some sort of fucking warranty. So yeah. Mm. Lifetime warranty. I think mine came That's with a lifetime warranty. warranty as well. That is a that is also say. a warranty. It was at least a five or a ten year warranty. I don't remember. I'm gonna say we're gonna pretend that this is the only fence I have to buy for like a good solid while. That'll work. That'll work. Whether it's true or not is a totally different story, but we're gonna pretend. A oh, five or ten year warranty, pretend. your face hidden. Yeah. I'm yeah. Me with a good time. Yeah, I will protect your your face for five to ten years. Only you know, five to ten years. The question is, what is my face a warranty I... on? If hidden statement is true. Um, I think that's more of a lollipop question. I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than you now, so tell me now. Mm, 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 mm. Sus. Mm, mm, mm. V-sus. I, I plead the fifth. Yep. You don't have an answer. Maybe. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, son of a bitch. Helena, can you, you okay? uh, <laughs> can you do me a favor? Hey, Chris. Zunder just lost the game. Oh God damn it! I thought you'd enjoy that one. Zunder, I just lost the game. Yeah, bud, you sure did. You sure did. That's no. Listen, if that's what the warranty's for, that's that's what the warranty's for. That's that is a fair point. Oh, so yeah, um, anyway, um, I think the moral of the story here is, um, life is very different, but y'all are pretty fucking great, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're pretty fucking great. No, yeah, you. Pretty, your face is pretty fucking great. Damn, get wrecked your face. I don't know which one of you is your face. You. No, that's not. No. You. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know you. That's who I was talking to. You ha! with the face. You with the face and the. And the You're and the one the, with the yeah. face on the stream. You are the face of the stream. Yeah. That's yeah. A... Boom. I got you. Wow. Your the Zunder the stream. stream. I need to get and a new face. The adult. So... Y'all need to get a new face then. Shut up. <laughs> We'll start. I like the guys just fine. We'll, we'll start I a. Come by here more often. You people are very entertaining. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, this is. Oh, you're, you're quite welcome. This is this is basically <laughs> this is, all this we is, do. This is, yeah, and this is like this is us light right now. Oh yeah, so that's because we're missing the the master chuckle fuck Tom. It's true. Tom is Tom is is chuckle fuck supreme. It's like yes. Crunchwrap supreme, but more potatoey. You see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Speaking so would it be Tom. like if they took Fiesta potatoes and put it in a wrap? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Speaking of Tom. Mm. 
uh, I was going to ask when you two married each other, mm -hmm. um, you didn't happen to e either one of you happened to do it uh, Princess Bride style, did you? Yes, yes, nice. I did. Oh, yes, I nice. did because because his wife Allison is a huge fan of pr the Princess Bride. So I mean, who isn't really? It's Elena. A great Elena. Elena. She's <laughs> she, she's the one. Um. <clears throat> Oh, Rocky, thank you so much for being here, friendo. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow in tab stream. Thank you. I love you. Mwah. Go get all of the sleepy sleeps. Um, so, yes, when, when I married Tom, um, because Allison is such a big fan of The Princess Bride, um, marriage is what brings us together today. And that's like... That's it's it's actually in the notes. Hold on, let me see if I can still find the notes because I think I still have them. I mean, it was only like two years ago, so. That that's awesome because I had a chance to do that for a buddy of mine in Washington State. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the time off of work to go do that. Um, but yeah, I was gonna do it Princess Bride style and marriage and and throw in a. Uh, <clears throat> some sort of way to, to work in um, stop rhyming and I mean it does anybody want a peanut ah. great film so let's see can I yeah there we go so we had here the notes right here yeah. So I actually here I will show I will actually show you the notes. So in this is again this is very Tom style, okay? But um, the whole like you know if anybody has any objections. So if anybody has any reason why these two should not be married, shut your cake hole, Brenda. Today ain't about you. And then I did the mailwage bit. So yes. That's we we actually did that, um, and then of course it's Tom, so I had to reference something from the eighties, you know. Oh yeah, the the uh, uh, Bill and Ted. Yeah, That's be, be excellent to each other. Well. That's great. Yep. Yeah, be excellent to each other. Be excellent to each other. Yep. I thought that was I thought that was that was most appropriate. Um, this is very good proof that. That we make excellent friends, Zach. That's right. That we're on that same brain wavelength. I'm right there with you, Fritz. I got you, buddy. I got you. But yeah, yeah, we we absolutely we had that moment during uh, Tom's Tom and Allison's wedding. Um, but yeah, that was it was fantastic. Now we didn't do it at mine uh, because. Beans like beans like don't do the princess bride thing. I'm like we didn't. I didn't do the princess bride thing for Tom. I did it for Allison. I'm like, do you like the princess bride that much? She's like, no. I'm like, there you go. Although we did vow to to, I did vow to bring her snacks. We we actually we wrote our own vows and then we both mentioned snacks. So there's a really cute picture of Bean like laughing her ass off about it. Um. Yeah, the pictures from your wedding were just freaking adorable. Thanks. Bean was you the... You were so cute. She was the super cutiest that day. I mean, you were pretty, were pretty cute, cute, too. Yeah. Don't argue. All right, fine. Hey, he's cute every day. Well, uh, sure. Like, let's but, not... But th those pictures were extra super cute. Mm. All right, let me go... <laughs> <laughs> Are, are we being trolly enough now, or you getting there? No, we're being too we're being too nice, honestly. Oh, okay. Mm. Gotta go the other direction. Got it. Wait, what are you wanting to see hidden? The pictures from the wedding? She wants to see pictures from the wedding. Here, I will show. I'm 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 pulling up. I'm I'm retrieving pictures now. All right, so I need pictures from the ninth. Oh wait, these aren't the professional ones. Where's the professional? There they are. That's what I need. <clears throat> uh, 
ceremony. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I need to I need to find the spot where I I mentioned the snacks. Oh yes. Yes, this is the part where I mentioned the snacks. Uh Is there a way Yeah, so she she mentioned snacks in her vows, and then I mentioned snacks in mine, and well, that's where that's where she died. And even even Tom had a good chuckle too, chuckle chuckle, <clears throat> chuckle chuckle, fuck fuck. You know what's really funny? What's really funny is Tom wore the same thing to my wedding that he wore to his own. So it's his wedding outfit. So, yeah. Yeah. There you have it. That's right. It was it and it it actually worked out too because um <clears throat> um like Sabrina wanted everybody else to wear like like jewel tone stuff, so like deeper darker colors. And Tom had like that really dark green shirt. Worked out great. Worked out perfectly. So, yeah. Oh, wait, this this picture is also good. All right, I'll show you this one and then and then we're done looking at pictures. That's the part where she fell over laughing when I mentioned snacks. Like she couldn't contain her laughter. She's like she's doubled over. She's laughing so hard at snacks. Okay, I'm done now. That's it. No more. No more. <clears throat> yeah, secretly Tom was like Tom's like, this is what I'm wearing Tell everybody else to, to get in line Which honestly would be like A very Tom thing to do I mean, frankly So Okay, alright now, now, now we're getting off topic Although that is That's something else that I had to focus on for a very extended period of time, in so much as the months leading up to it, that I also didn't tell anybody about until it happened. Mm. I think you didn't tell anybody until after it happened. Well, yeah, yeah. That's uh, actually the like I told. Hi, Ray. Mm, love you, buddy. Um, Lollipop new. Lollipop knew because he he was on a need to know basis. Yep, because work. Because <clears throat> work. I I will I will I will brb. I'm gonna go actually get some of my cracked chicken. Chicken. Jamkin nuggies. Oh wait. Jamkin nuggies. Um, it's a little song I wrote about Jamkin nuggies. Um, yeah. So I told Lollipop because he needed to know for work reasons. Like, cause I took I took like what like a week and a half off i actually closer to two i took almost Something like that yeah yeah because i think there was um yeah i basically took two weeks off and um i'm like i'm going on vacation i told everybody else i'm going on vacation which i did but it wasn't really a vacation so much as it was a destination wedding um <gasps> thank you for the host hidden i love you um but yeah, oh yeah, no, it was it was absolutely stressful. And what what really sucked was we were planning to do one thing and then we had to change direction and do something completely different. We originally were going to go up to Niagara Falls, but because of the harsh winter, the falls stayed frozen longer than they usually do. So the boats didn't start running. Or they weren't going to start running. We didn't think they were, we, you know, they didn't start running early enough. So we had to change direction and we went to Hilton Head instead, um, which actually worked out a, a lot better because no one had to fly anywhere. We could, we could all drive um, and worked out great. Fantastic. 
Um, but you know, we had to we we planned we planned a good chunk of a wedding, had to scrap it all, and inside of like three months, plan the other one. Even for like the nine people that were there, we still had to like coordinate all of this, and we paid for it all. So it was just like. Whoa. So yeah, it was. And all the all the stories of modern wedding planning stuff. I am just relieved that we did we didn't go that route. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yep. It was very stressful, but it, it 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 everything turned out beautiful and wonderful. Um. And there was a bean. So yeah, everything was great. Um. But yes, everything leading up to it was just like, just mind meltingly stressful. Um, so that was, I was, I'm very happy we did it. Glad it's over. Glad we will never have to do that again. Um, just because of the just the, the stress leading up to it. So. I wish Tom was here because I would say he's a sick motherfucker. <clears throat> Quite the potat he is. My God, he's such a potat, but he's also a sick motherfucker. If you look in the random channel, you'll know why. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, that was that was like several months. Of trying to plan that and make sure everything was good and safe in the middle of the pandemic. And thankfully, we were... By that time, basically everybody was vaccinated. Um, you know, Sydney wasn't because of the pregnancy. Um, she wanted to wait till later in the pregnancy so that, um, you know, the baby could also get the benefits of the vaccine. Um, and make sure everything was a little bit safer just in case there were any, like... Um, side effects, complications, stuff like that. But um, everybody else was vaccinated, so you know we were we were all good there. Um, plus, we stayed for the majority for basically the entire trip. We all stayed in a house together um, instead of staying in a hotel. So that was nice too. We all were you know with each other and hanging out and doing our thing. Um, Tom and I spent. A lot of time on like the very top story of the house because there was a theater room up there. So I hung out up there watching him play video games, um, and yeah, it was it was pretty nice. But yeah, that was that was a that was a big thing. That's why for like. Most of the first half of this year, like, my stress levels were through the roof and my brain was mush. I just couldn't, I couldn't process anything. I was useless, basically. And, like, I was, I, like, I was noticeably under stress even at work. And so, like, right before I left, when I told Lollipop, I'm like, hey, this is what we're actually doing. And he's like, oh, <laughs> No, no wonder you've been so fucked up at work. I'm like, yep, that doesn't that explain a lot. He's like, it sure does, bud. It sure does. So yeah, that was who boy. It was a year, y'all. It was a year. <sighs> it was a year last week. It was. It was a year last week. It was a year last night. Oh God! Do you want to tell this? Yeah. Do you want to tell this story, Lollipop? Mm. Uh, uh. Speak. Speaking of marriage. Ugh. So I paid a nice little visit to the ER last night because <laughs> um, we noticed that my wedding ring wouldn't come off my finger. Mm -hmm. So after an urgent care visit, them saying that they didn't. They can't. They don't have the tools to get rid of a tungsten ring. I went to the ER. Uh, they shattered it, cut me, 
then had to x-ray my finger to make sure none of the shrapnel ended up in my finger. And that was a three-hour ordeal. A three-hour tour. Uh, and now I'm... I think we ordered me a silicone ring, I think? We did. We, we got you a new ring on, on order. Like, that's good. If you wanted nice. a new ring, Chris, you, you, you could have found a different way to tell me. Like, I'm, I'm flexible. I, I would have much preferred a different way. <clears throat> just, Thankful just, just letting you know. Thankfully, even you aren't as flexible as the silicone he'll be wearing soon. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we we sized that one, so we hopefully have it right this time. There you go. That's good. Now, how long did you have it on your hand continuously before you had to take it off? Um, Years? I was say, how long have we been married? Because I don't really ever take it off. I don't take them off or fidget with them or anything like that, so... See, I don't, I don't wear mine around the house because I'm afraid I'm going to break it or do something to it. Nah. I mean, I know it's tungsten. It's tungsten carbide, so it's pretty goddamn, you know. You will not break it, as as uh, as Lollipop has shown. Uh, well, yeah. It it will it will not break until you put a lot of effort into it. Boy, when when you go hard, you fucking go hard, don't you, bud? Apparently. Apparently that so. That was kind of my fault because um, we probably could have waited until the next day and uh, like gone and like found a jeweler or a fire station or like literally anyone to do it with an actual cutting tool and better. Yeah. But um, I got, my brain unfortunately knows about degloving and my I, I was not having any of that. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Like, now that I knew that he couldn't get it off, my brain was just convinced that, 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 nope, that was, that was the end of everything. Yeah. So we'll call that ER visit my anxiety tax. Boy, let me tell you, surgical glue stings, as an FYI. Yeah, I, I bet it does. Yeah, so, Amy, that's, that's... Sabrina, she does the same thing. So, um, when she comes up at night to shower before bed, she'll take hers off then, and she has a, a tray by the bed that she'll leave them on. Um, so we have a tray upstairs for hers. We have a tray downstairs in the kitchen for cleaning, and that's where I usually leave mine. Because I, again, I rarely wear mine around the house because I'm just, I'm so afraid of messing it up. Which I know it's tungsten carbide, so the worst that'll happen is the, the the finish on it will get like the tiniest bit scuffed because it's tungsten carbide and it's, you know, it's not like stainless steel. Gonna, it's not going to scratch the I, fuck up like stainless will. I know that. I was going to say, I think in, in five years, the only thing that happened to Chris was he got like a blue patina put on his, on his and I think that wore off. So it was more just like the black tungsten again. But that, that, that was it. You will not do, like my, I have two rings. I have the, the, my wedding band and my, my, engagement ring and my my wedding band is tungsten mm -hmm. and it looks brand new and i never i only take it off for um air, like just when we're going through airports and stuff so like i wear mine all the time and you've met me i'm not exactly like the least clumsy of us nor am i i mean you've talked about my destructive superpower y you won't break yours like I, I i i would personally fucking guarantee it because like i haven't even like scratched my like my engagement ring is worn down and like i don't know in another few years it might be worth looking because that was also like a a pinch hit buy so it might be worth looking at like upgrading it but my band is it is, is the same as the one the day i got it like you like do you i i have zero investment in in how you uh do or do not wear your your wedding ring but like you won't break it I just I'm 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 always overly cautious with important stuff. Um like that. Um rental cars. Like I'm super cautious with rental cars. Rental cars are the devil. They are. They are, but like anything that's not mine and also anything of mine that's like that's super important. <gasps> Ooh. Dom, that's lewd. Oh, that's lewd. And I, I, I love get it. it. Like, 
Please note, I'm pretty sure Chris has talked to you about having to have me leave the room when he works on my computer because I'm an anxious idiot about anything that's super important or expensive or hard to replace. You're not an idiot. But Stop like, that shit. Like, oh, I can. He's out of line, but he's right. No, I can be an idiot with my anxiety. Like, I 100% can be. Um. That's not you being an idiot. That's your anxiety being rude. That's different. Let's be clear. You are not an idiot. You are very intelligent. Anxiety is a bitch. But either way, like, I uh, I am similar to you. But for whatever reason, thankfully, my wedding ring has never, like, triggered that. And I'll take that one as a win where it can. <laughs> yeah, see, Viv, that's, that's that right there. I... Like, if, the, if that happened to me, if something happened out in, like, like uh, that that example, because, fuck it, I live in Florida. It's, it's it's nothing but beach and swamp. If I lost my ring out on the beach and it fell in the ocean and I couldn't find it, and I wouldn't even want to come home. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to even show my face. But, no, I'm not worthy. I'm, I'll be back. I'll go, I will go find it. I will start like I think I'll go out there with like one of the one of the little sieves and just start like scooping up sand. I think for me, since like the the specific rings we ended up with, or at least like my engagement ring was like that was a whole affair. I, th I found out later because the first one just never showed. Mm -hmm. Um, and like we didn't oh, yeah, I forgot invest about that. a ton in them. Like, they don't matter to me as, like, my marriage matters to me, but I've always kind of viewed the wedding rings as semi-replaceable. Because yes. they aren't exactly expensive or they're not the reason we're together. Right. So, well, it's like, like it's like, it's kind of been like, like you can, meh. you can buy another band. You can't buy another lollipop. Correct. So I'm just kind of like, uh, I think they're pretty cheap on eBay. No, no, you are not cheap. Not, not for that quality of Italian sausage. <laughs> but uh, so I think that's why that's just never like hit oh, my be. like worth. Like he was, he said they they're gonna have to. He was he was worried about. And he's like, what about them cutting it off? I'm like, I care more about your finger than I do that band. Like I know that band was expensive. We can go get another one if you want. Yeah. Like I'm not. They just don't trigger... For me, it's usually, can I replace this? So, like, yes. expensive things or, like, if it was an heirloom or something, yeah, that would trigger it. But if I got it on Etsy and I can just get it on Etsy again, then there's, like, nothing on that for me. Yeah. Thankfully. Yep. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I just... I don't know. It's... I know it's I know it's a thing and I know it can be replaced. Like there was there's nothing like particularly like like mine is isn't particularly like you know unique. Um but I understand like the symbolism behind it and it just I know how important it is to being of course. I mean yes. and to me but like I know it's it's very important to her and like the last thing I ever want to do is disappoint her um, yeah. and I just I, I'm just, just so like uh, symbolism uh, is some people's thing it's, it's never been mine because it's basically fucking Greek as far as I'm concerned most of the time <laughs> yeah like I'm, wedding rings are an obvious one but 90% of the rest of the time, it's just like, uh, yeah, this means something to you. Yeah. I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I can hear again. Oh, good. Yay. What happened? I don't know what, I, I have no idea. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I call it paranoid. But I just, I'm, I'm, I just try to be really cautious about that stuff because, you know. No, it's admirable. It's not a, I just mostly wanted to reassure you that if I haven't been able to break mine in five years, I'm 
like 95% certain that you couldn't break yours if you put all of your effort into trying unless you actually went and got tools to do so. Yeah. Because I'm usually the first to break goddamn anything in new and inventive ways. So if there's a new and inventive way to break tungsten, I probably would have found it by now. Hey, but, isn't hey, hey Lollipop, isn't there a job that's 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 good for that? A job for for what? You know, breaking shit in new and creative ways. Mm, mm, yes, that's QA. Ah, You're talking about I see. QA. I see. That's yeah. I'm not in QA. <laughs> well, you goddamn better be. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna continue to tell you this until. <laughs> you know. Until I actually like. Do it. Go applying and and and. Yeah. Yeah, see, I have no experience in it, and so that's the, that, that's, that's the long haul there. And Actually, I, that... I can't exactly put, <laughs> I break things in new and creative ways without meaning to on my resume. I mean, you could... Well, it, it, it's not that bad of a thing if you don't have much QA experience, because then you'd come in perfect as somebody who has no idea how a product works. And, you know, it, as dumb as this sounds, you know, you, you kind of have to idiot-proof things these days. Um, you know, not to imply that you are an idiot or should be an idiot, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, oh, and that makes sense. I Just so far in the, the few attempts I've, I've made at applying, it's more experienced and qualified candidates. So... I agree with that. I would, and I would, I would really fucking love someone to just give me a chance to prove that I can learn what you need me to learn. Just let me be a fucking analyst already in something. But you know, whatever. Yep. I'm, I'm telling you, QA is the way to go for you. I'm gonna keep telling you this <laughs> and, until you, you know, you start actually pursuing it. I mean. How hard do I have to pursue it? Because like I, I've I've slightly pursued it. I mean, it doesn't have to be like ridiculously serious, but like you know, next time you start job hunting for serious, you, you I really think you should throw QA in the mix because you'd be damn good at it. Fair. I That's, would I would enjoy QA. You like. would enjoy QA. At least at the right company, where like they actually paid attention to their QA. Oh, Dom, that's oh, that's rough, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, mine was just I like I think I maybe knocked something like I hit the mic and it knocked a cable loose or something. I don't know. Oh Weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Ooh, crazy break. Okay. So for those of you who are new or unfamiliar. Folks, this is the Crazen Box. So, uh, Tom's wonderful wife, Allison, the Alley Beth, uh, she made this Crazen Box for me with my name on it and everything. And it's where I keep all my Crazens. Today, I'm feeling a little... Ooh, you Iceberg know... ready to Tokyo Drift. <gasps> Hidden! Thanks for the biddies. I love you. Even if you're just doing it to be competitive. Listen, if you want to compete to, to be number one... Like bits or gifted subs on my channel, I ain't gonna argue. Um, so, we were talking about these the other day, uh, specifically me and Miss Allie Pup. So I'm gonna do chocolate covered craisins because the chocolate ones are just so good. Listen, don't you start? Don't, don't fucking start. Ice bear ready to Tokyo drift. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Get riggedy wrecked, hidden. They do have chocolate covered ones. Is you gonna eat your bone bud? Your little rawhide? You gonna do it? Huh? Ice bear is ready Put to Tokyo drift. Oh shit. I don't know what to do here. I think this is where you say hi. This is where I go hype. Something like that. 
I still don't have hype train music. I need to figure that hype. out. Yeah, you need a hype train like triggers. I know. Wait, do I have <laughs> Ice Bear is ready to Tokyo Drift? Y you know what yours should be? Oh my god. Oh my god. Do, do you know what it should be? Alley Pup, stop that. Why? I don't know. What should it be? Ice Bear is ready to do Tokyo I Drift. Do I look like I know <laughs> what, what a, a JPEG, JPEG is? is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. I mean, it is on it is on uh, on uh, sound alerts, so you could do that if you wanted to. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just trying to participate in the hype train hidden. Hmm. Dang. Dang hidden. Oh, now you've now you've done and you, you gone done made hidden sad. Huh. It's okay. We'll make. We'll Ice Bear's ready to Tokyo Drift. Oh Jesus! Holy shit! Okay, all right. I gotta find. I gotta find something. What we got? Um, trying to think what I. Ice bear is ready to Tokyo drift. Oh Jesus Christ! This is some therapy, huh? Will you quit that? Oh. Huh? Who? Who? Who, she says. Who? Who? Who needs to quit what? What are you, a fucking owl? Who? I'm asking who needs to quit what, and you are being remarkably inspecific with your complaints here. Mostly do. So, I'm going to need to bring oh your complaints within scope. Thank you, Amy. And, and explain the issues at hand so that we can address them. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Ooh, woo. Oh, Dami, thanks for the resub, buddy. Oh. Doom, 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 doom. In specific, unspecific, <laughs> yes. Non-specific. I, I think I was trying to say unspecific, but... I don't think Lord unspecific is a, is unspecific a word, either. Doom, 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 doom. Does it have to be a word? I'm just okay. asking. I, I'm. I, I'm I, not. I have no idea. I think. No. I. I I'm not. Unspecific uh, appears to be a word. From. Yes. Yes. It appears to be a word. It appears to be a word. Hold so on. unspecific is not specific, while non-specific is not specific. What? What? As English additives, is the weird. difference between unspecific. I don't fucking know. I'm. Hold on. Let's see. It. It. It's like flammable and inflammable. Maybe. So like, okay, this is this is literally what the sentence says. As adjectives, the difference between unspecific and non-specific is that unspecific is not specific, while non-specific is not specific. That says the exact same thing. What? 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 I'm very confused. Are you specifically confused? No. Or are you unspecifically? No. Or are you non-specifically confused? No. What what specific what specificity is your confusion? No. Uh, <laughs> according to wiktionary.org, in specific is also a word? Maybe? I like this hype train. I, I like you dancing for the hype train. I think this works. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, Zunder, I really wish you had fun. Yeah, I know. One day I'll learn how to have fun. What'd you say, Fritz? Can you? I was asking if that was from a game show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. That's a that's a that thousand your percent game show. It Have might be from thunder? my favorite game show. It might be. Which what's your, what's your favorite game show? Uh, let's see. I think I have a thing for it right here. Ah. Is it the one where where? That's uh, a good one. Yep. That is a good one. Yep, that's a good but, one. But but Thunder, I have an important question. Go what on. Can you win on that? What what can you win on that game show? Oh God! I where's Tom when we need him? A new, new car. car. 
<laughs> there we go. I feel like that should be part of your uh, hype train. Maybe I should make like a, a Price is Right like medley to be my hype train music. Yes. The only thing I... I, okay, the other thing that I have to do at some point, too, is figure out um, audio mixing stuff, because I'm probably going to start mixing some of this stuff out of the VODs. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dom, for muting the tab and not the stream, because God knows how Twitch counts viewers anymore. Um, but yeah... Uh, I'm probably gonna start doing that. Like I'm, I, I will probably put together like a, a whole thing. Let's see what else we got here. What else we got here? Um, this is what he's gonna be doing at work tomorrow. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Thursday. Uh, day. Well, let's see. Thursday. Uh, so we've got. No, I got a lot of meetings tomorrow. So yeah, between meetings, I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got like the showcase music, or, like classic showcase music, you know, like just fantastic stuff. Let's see what else we got here. And then that's the other one, and then we have this one. This one came around in the '80s, early '80s. That's a pretty good one. Let's see, what is, what is this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, this one's good. Give it a second. This is my fucking jam right here. I think this is the one that like when I'm listening, when I'm watching the, like the classic Price is Right channel, um, the, this is the one that, like, if I hear it, I go, this is my fucking jam. I don't, I, I can't remember. Um, by the way, thank you all for that hype train. Um, I, I don't, I still don't know how to physically or mentally respond to it. Like a bear. Hey, thank you. You barely respond to it. I barely respond to it? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, all right. And then, of course, we have this one, which is... Which, well, see, hidden, you, know you activated this one. people's competitive and, well, like, competitively, competitive is like a love language for some people, so, like, what can you do? Yeah, it's it's not that they didn't want you to be number one, it's just that they wanted themselves to be number one after somebody else was tried to be number one. So it's not that they wanted you to not be it, they just wanted to be it, which kind of excludes it, you know? <gasps> I didn't realize I still have these unlocked. There we go. Now it breaks into the actual, like, new car music. Still had what unlocked? Oh. Let's see. What is this one? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. What's really funny is I think most of these, these, like, um, classic ones, because a lot of them haven't been used regularly in so long, they're not in any content ID databases anywhere. Because, like, they don't care. They don't sell this music. It's just used on the show. Let's see. What else we got here? Yeah, that's a good one. That one's been in use for a long time. And fun fact, for those who, who don't know, because it was like they stopped doing it in like the mid 80s, um, for a while, The Price is Right actually had shared music with another popular game show. Um, every once in a while, when they would reveal a new car, they would play. They would yep, actually. I've heard that. I remember this one. They would play the Family Feud theme as like a, a new car reveal. So that's that's something that 
I mean, they, they again, they stopped doing it because, like, of the branding and separation, but yeah. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Well, the great thing is, for those of you who uh, tune into Pluto, they've got a That's Barker the one I watch. Era. That's the one I yep. watch. Yep, Barker era, Price yep. is Right channel. It's great stuff, and yeah, they use that that all the time, and... and good times good days yeah that one so okay so there are a couple of things that i've learned about that channel fritz um if you watch it long enough you start to see the pattern you see the loop and i think it's about every like mm, i want to say every about week or so the cycle resets because it's really just episodes and that's that's kind of the thing about pluto tv pluto is free it is fully ad supported um which means all the content that's on there is is limited um so they have episodes from the 82 83 season of the price is right and that's it yep that's it it's just the one season oh okay yeah yeah it's so if you watch it you'll notice that it cycles through so it's like a week, week and a half, I think. So, like, I'm I'm sort of in the middle of it again because I was watching, um, I was watching earlier today, and they were during they were doing like Christmas week stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it cycles fairly quickly because you got to think, you know, you're getting through 24 episodes of the season in a day, and in a given Price Is Right season, there are. God, I want to say like 200-ish episodes. I want to say about 250, but yeah, it's at least 200. Something like that, yeah. Let me see. Um... Well, 250 would be 50 weeks of new episodes. And there's 52 weeks in a year. So I might, I might be overestimating. Yeah, so here it's saying number of seasons... 49 the number of episodes as of 20 as of october of 2019 was 9000 that's when they had their 9000th episode which means they're coming up on episode 10000 so that averages that averages to roughly about 200 a season yeah um but i mean like this they're producing that many um which i think they usually tape three in a day i think is what they do I want to say at least three. Yeah, I think I think taping's like three a day. I'm sorry. They typically tape two episodes per day, um, with Monday through Wednesday tapings. So yeah, according to Wikipedia, typically the show take tapes two episodes per day, midday and late afternoon tapings, with Monday through Wednesday. Um, Taped, of course, in advance of the air date. Um, and they usually do it about like a month and a half in advance. Um, they're, I haven't been able to watch it live since the pandemic started and they put in their pandemic restrictions. It is, it's very jarring. So instead of the, the audience being there, they will call down... Like the only people that are there are the contestants who are scheduled to appear on the show that day. Uh, and so the audience is gone. And in the place of the audience, they've taken like bitters row and they've separated out into, you know, obviously socially distanced podiums um, where they go and stand instead. And there's no audience behind them. It's really fucking not blow up dolls hidden. Lude. Um, <laughs> lude. Uh, so yeah, they'll do, um, they'll just have them come down and then they'll pipe in like canned, um, audience noises, like either yelling or applause or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's too, it's too strange for me to watch. Like it's too very dystopian. Let me see.
I'm trying to see if I can find a picture of like the contestants row. But while we're waiting for that, I, I will comment that Drew Carey has been an excellent host. I, you know, I was. Um, since he, he started and replaced Bob Barker, he's, he's done a great job. He in has. My opinion. He absolutely has. I've been, um, I, I was nervous at first, um, but uh, he's, he's done an outstanding job. And I think the best thing is he hasn't tried to do it like Bob. He's no, he's, he's done it as himself. He yes. has. He's he's put his own flair and style onto it, and yeah, I've I've really enjoyed it. He's done such a good job. Man, it is so hard to find a screenshot of this. Let me see something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So they have completely they've completely retooled the set. So just to give you an idea. So this is what contestants row in the audience did look like, okay? Um, packed in audience, contestants right here down in front before they come up on stage, etc. They have reworked all of this and now it looks more like this where they have the spaced out podiums and like the, the contestants will come from backstage back here. It's too jarring. I can't watch it. Yeah, like the picture of the packed in people, it's, yeah, like now it's like, ugh. but like this, this is too dystopian. Now I will say, um, Press Your Luck has done it really well. So for the new season of Press Your Luck, um, they, because um, the way the Press Your Luck works anyway, Steve, hi Steve. Um, Steve. Steve. Hi Steve. Uh, your face, Steve. The way that, that Press Your Luck works is the contestants have their families there with them because whoever makes it to the bonus round after the main game, um, that person has their family off to the side cheering them on and kind of, you know, helping them out or whatever. So there are still at least people in studio with them making actual noise and stuff. Um, uh, Let's Make a Deal has done something similar. To where instead of having the normal packed in audience, they have people in their own like individual spaces spaced out in the audience. Plus they have people on video. Um, so they're doing it that way, which that has worked out really well. Um, but like the Price is Right experience has just been too, too, too jarring for me. I can't, I can't watch that. I just, I just, yeah. Um. Oh, hidden. You so sweet. I see you over there on the Twitters. Um, but yeah, I'm uh I'm I'm looking forward to when people are actually being safe and we get our studio audience back. There there's talk that next month uh the new tapings are going to start bringing back a limited audience and I'm sure that being vaccinated is going to be one of their prerequisites for it. Um, I would be surprised if that goes through with the variants right now. Well, we'll see. Just, just well, because there's a breakthrough and the variants and the possibility that, um, like CDC just updated their their mask guidelines today because the, it's looking like vaccinated people the breakthrough they can carry it like the vaccinated people aren't necessarily as highly at risk but they can carry it to someone who does sure so um, that still makes these... grouping kind of meh. but if the episodes were taped six weeks ago like a normal schedule before the delta variant became a problem 
Yeah. Yes. If 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 Delta wasn't a thing, I I would I would not be a a grumpy butt about the idea of grouping for such things because if, especially with vaccinated, like that that would be cool. Yeah. I'm just thinking with the the variant as it stands and what we're finding out. I I I. I this is one of those I don't want to rain on Zunder's parade, but that sounds scary to me. <laughs> no, no, and I, and I agree. I agree. Um, like, I'm looking here. I'm looking at the casting call form. And so the first page is um, 18 years of age, um, not employed or affiliated with any of, like, the production or broadcast companies. Right. Um, that all makes sense. And then, like, all the, um, like, I haven't been a contestant on The Price is Right in the last 10 years. I haven't taped an appearance as a contestant or participated in any other television game show which has been or may be aired within one year of filling out the application. I haven't been a contestant on more than four other television game shows of any type within the last 10 years. Um, let's see. They do, they ask, okay, okay. I saw this last year when I was looking at the form because I, I I periodically go and look at the Price is Right casting form because of a of, of fucking course I do, and like they ask name and then the the next thing they ask preferred pronouns and and not only do they have he him his she her hers they them theirs they also have they zir zirs okay and they have those on there like that just well done well done for you know trying to actually be ahead of the curve with like a form yeah no that's 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 a pretty good selection they also oh, well, as good as you're gonna get as a, on a on a form that picks your defaults for you like picks the you know like that's that's pretty damn good they also my, my have I'm freaking out what's that yeah my computer just did it again oh like, jesus yeah um but yeah, they have the they actually have the vaccine questions on here. So, have you been fully vaccinated? If so, what vaccine and what was the date of your final vaccination? So, they actually have it on here. So, let's see. Yeah. All right. So this is this is all good. And I'm filling out the form. I don't even care. I'm going to I'm going to get on this goddamn show. Good. Don't let your dreams be memes. I don't even I don't know what that means. Chase your dreams, motherfucker. Oh, I don't know what that means. Yes, you Go do. after that shit. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Let's see. Uh, yes, you exactly do. exactly what that means. Oh, I forgot. Chase your dreams mm. like you want me to chase QA. I mean, honestly. Chase your dreams like you're trying to make plans to do right now. Let's see. Da, 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 da. My bachelor's degree is of is an applied science in technology development and management with a concentration in software engineering. I'm in communication with a business administration minor. Nice. I went to college. <laughs> I'm just making. I just don't want a me. picture of a god, god dang, dang hot, hot dog. dog. There you go. What was my? April 26th? Yeah. Uh, 
Um, I think I got the Pfizer. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. You got Pfizer, yes. I love that you remember. Because you didn't get the same one as me, and I got Moderna, and you didn't get the 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 JJ. That's that's a good point. I was going to try to get we the have, JJ. We have one of each in in our household. So you do, you do. Like that's you're well versed. You have you have all you have a, an assortment, really. I got the J and J. Chris got the Moderna. Izzy got the Pfizer. You got the Pfizer. Yep. So it was just taking whatever the fuck is available. Oh, this is the thing where I have to describe myself. I don't know how to do this part. You're a bear. You are a bear. You drink milk. And you play video games. And you are obsessed with The Price is Right and Golden Girls. What is the craziest thing I've ever done for money? Eating cranberry sauce in front of live people. I didn't do that for in money. In front of a live studio yeah. audience. Yes, you did. No. You got, you got paid to stream. I don't get paid to eat the cranberry sauce. The cranberry you sauce comes from channel stream, points. And you've, you, yes, but you get paid to stream. By Dom, you have fun on meeting. Stream. So, by previous arguments you have made to me, you got paid to eat the cranberry sauce. I mean, allegedly. Look, you can't. You you, you know allegedly about that? I I yeah. just did. No, you can't allegedly about that. Okay, when's the, when's the last time I saved this? Oh, I started working on this four months ago was the last time I started working on it. But it expires. It expires every 30 days, so, you know... It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, I did get... I did get an Outback email. <laughs> they literally sent me an email with a subject line, why not both? <laughs> they make a compelling argument. They, they did. Por que no los dos? Por que no los dos? Sirloin and choice of shrimp. Sirloin and twisted ribs. Ribeye and choice of shrimp. Filet mignon and lobster. Well, well. I got that email too. Do you you also get steak emails? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the good stuff. Hmm. I mean, there may be crazier things you've done for money, but I would say eating a can of cranberry sauce for a live audience would definitely be at least of interest. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Like, like it's it, definitely not like you're just like, oh well, everyone's done that. Like, no, I don't think everybody eats cranberry sauce for money. I'd love to uh, stick around all night, but uh, out here on the left coast, um, it's time I should probably go get some dinner. Um, Yo, thank yeah, you for having me as a guest today. Thank you all for being on this call and everybody uh, watching the stream as well. You're wonderful people. I wish you all the best of luck uh, moving forward. And uh, hey, if we want to do this again, I'm up for it. Yeah, Fritz, you are welcome anytime that you want to come, buddy. I am so thankful that you were here. Um, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you, you know, kind of sharing and pouring out a little bit of your heart and soul to us. Um, this is, um, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that you were here, bud. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Go, Thank you for being a friend. Go get some food, bud. I love you. All right. I love you guys too. All right. Take bye. Care. Bye. Oh, Oh, Fritz. I love me a Fritz. He's good peoples. You're good peoples. Boom, got you. I'm a bear, so ha, joke's on you. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. no, no. Mr. Peter, no. he no here. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I do that. I, I'll do that because I do it pretty well. And Bean's like, stop doing that. She's like, it's creepy. Stop doing it. And I'm like... 
No, 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 no Mr. No. Superman, no here. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a message that I got a little bit ago on a, on, on, on a website that shall not be named. Wow, I got, yeah. I got eight words into it. And... Yeah, yeah. Wow. You, 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 you guys want to know what it says? Oh my God. Do you? Do... Cause it's a. I don't care. I'll read it. Would, okay. Would you like to read it? Okay. Go ahead. This I will is... do. A, I will do a dramatic reading. Oh yes, yes. All right. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta pause the music for this. So this is literally a message that came out of nowhere. It's not a person that I've ever interacted with, ever. And it's like a 60, 61 year old woman. Not that that matters, but you think that at that age you would have a little more common sense than to send. A message like this. Hi, I'm reaching out to other females living in the lifestyle because we are looking for sisters to join our family. We have much to offer in the way of friendship, training, and safety with our sir who has taught many in who has taught many in his years living in the lifestyle. Many on here are looking to exploit females for their own sick personal gain. Our family is about safety and fulfilling our secret desires. I hope we can add you to our family. Thank you, Slave J. What the fuck? Like, are you, what it, the fuck? Are, are you sure 61 and not 16? Because it, uh, it fucking reads like shit I've seen when I was 16. 61 so going on 16. Let's be real here. Like, like legitimately. What? 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 No, yeah, it's I, six year old female. Hidden, that is this the is, correct this response. This is back to my IMVU days, okay? Like, like Jesus. Or no. <laughs> Like that uh, is... what cult is this now? It's a it's a it's a kinky family, apparently, that they you... want more women to be a part of with their sir. You absolutely heard that correct. Yes, that's exactly what you heard. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Th this is this is a message that came to me out of nowhere. That <laughs> has there is nothing anywhere in any place that I have ever posted anything ever that would indicate that that is a thing that I would have any interest in. Just... Ever. Ever. I, I'm still convinced it was written by a 16-year-old. I'm sorry. Like, what? What the fuck? Oh. Uh. What the... What, what the fuck? It was one of those... So baffling, and and literally my response was no. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised you responded. To well, you know, I'm I'm kind of curious to see if they're gonna write back with something else, because then I can be like, you're an idiot. That's literally what oh, happened, Fritz. Okay. You left, and the whole place went to shit. Yep, you're not allowed to leave. That's it. You come. Yeah, get, you you came back food, to let's oral go. abuse you, you, you of the highest back. order. You gotta come back. Yeah, um, sorry, you can't eat. You gotta you gotta stay here. Okay. And I think this really warrants the my f one of my favorite lines from Saturday Night Live. It's very short, very simple, but it fits here. And like, why? And like, don't. <laughs> so I, I legitimately, I legitimately let Jesus me let me Christ. find my my tweet. What an app! Wow, just. No, my my literal tweet because I because I tweeted that picture on my on my locked account. I said, but like why and like no, I literally tweeted that with the picture. Get out of my head, Zunder. Yeah, Get out of my head. <laughs> and like why and like don't. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's it's true. Yep. Just like. <sighs> Things that make you go. Blah, oh, you know blah, blah. what? I should ask them for money. Are you gonna Are you gonna pay me to come live with you? Uh, I'm gonna need some some money up front to make sure that I can cover my costs, so that I can come be trained by your sir and um, become a part of your fa family. Welcome to the family. Yep, son. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yep. I can't even. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
yeah so that's that's what that's what i got today for some reason like is that just okay i know it's not the same but the first thing i thought was you know this is like the weird written equivalent of an unsolicited dick pic. Mm hmm It, it kind of is, yeah. Like, but it, mm. it's also like with combined with like the worst of like the the church missionaries who go door to door where they're just fucking leaving flyers everywhere, even mm. places that you know don't make any sense. Mm hmm <laughs> Like just just a a. a uh. Just a bunch of people in collars walking door to door going, Hi, I'm here to tell you about the good news of our Lord and Savior, sir. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's how these groups get. Like, especially yeah. online, that's really how they get. Like, oh my God. Like, I, this is the one who way. I feel very fortunate that, generally Kuda. speaking, that does not happen to me because no. No. <laughs> So, I've been online since I was 11, and I've been pretending to be an adult since I was 11, so I've seen way more of this than I have any right to have, and it's just extremely fucking common. Like, like, there have been times that, 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 that people have been told me they were interested in certain things, and I'm like, well, well what, what caught your attention? And, like, they'll be like, a webcomic, and my hackles just go up, because, like, nine times out of ten, it's bad. One time out of ten, it's a decent webcomic, but nine times out of ten, or, like, bullshit on the internet, it's just bad news bears. Fucking yeah. bad news bears. And it, yeah. it's just kinky you woos. That's, that's all it is. I, I, I like fibs. Like, have you heard the good new woos? Yes. New that, woos? That. The good new woos. Yeah. But, like, but like ooh is, is cute. Platform and you can join us. Ooh is cute. That's <laughs> not cute. That's not cute. <laughs> And I apologize that I shared that with you guys, but I needed somebody else to experience that. That is exactly what this is of... for. <laughs> and that's why this that's why this channel is 18 plus. Yep. Yep. And that's why I didn't post it in your Discord because Discord is not NSFW. It is not NSFW. That's... And I respect that. And I appreciate that. That's what I appreciate about you. Is that what you appreciate about me? That's one thing, yeah. Uh. We started talking about cookies, and now I want cookies. <laughs> I do love... Go get cookies. I do love me a cookie. Boy, do I love me a cookie. I don't know if I can get cookies delivered here at 9.43 at night. You're goddamn right. Steve, if you didn't need therapy before, you sure as fuck need it now. Yep. Yep. Sorry, Steve. Yeah. A moment to talk about our pod and savior. That's that's Allie, except she just goes door to door going, sniff, sniff, bork, heck. Bork, bork, sniff, heck. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. You heard about our Lord and Savior, Fuzzy Animals? Hmm, Fuzzy Animals. Well, that, that really depends. See, in Allie's case, it could be that could mean one of two things. That could mean actual fuzzy animals, or anthropomorphic fuzzy animals I said what I said I know you said what you said you left it you left it intentionally vague we're, we're not, we're the not talking glean about from that it, Steve they will. I mean I did have a, a new a new friend that I hung out with last week Lude. who hopefully I'm going to see again th soon Lude. also Ubu <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep all these things Ah, yep. <sighs> what a world, what a world. What a world. 
What a world, what a world. Minus setup to do that. Do, do, do. Uh, no. <sighs> we haven't had a good old fashioned group therapy night in a few weeks. This was very nice. This was very nice. She makes a riveting argument, you know. No, you. Ooh, he no, makes a riveting time, argument, you know. Then you can never say. Wait, hold on. I, I heard, I heard riveting argument. What did you say, Elena? No, you one more time than you can ever say. No, you times infinity plus one. And then I go one more than that. No, I already did plus one. You can't. You can only plus one once. I plus one. You're plus one. <laughs> no, that's. There's no and there are infinite plus ones. No, no. There's only one plus one. <laughs> and there that's are it. That's all I got. One. Okay, then infinite plus two, which is plus one plus one, so thus we're back to square one, in which case I go one more time than you can ever say. Square one. Da, 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 da. Okay, does anybody remember does anybody remember the square one public television show that had like all the different like math themed like sketches and stuff? It was like Saturday Night Live, but it was for kids, and it was math-themed. I think I'm the last... Why do I not know about this, and I love math? Okay. All right. They had they had this show on there. They had this sketch called MathNet, and it was like Dragnet, like the old police show, but it was like they were solving, like, they were solving mysteries... Using math. Steve, you remember? Oh, thank God, I'm not the only one. Oh, okay, yeah. Square One Television. First episode, January 26, 1987. Had oh, 230 God. episodes. Uh, let's see. Second yeah, I format. think most of us are too young to know these things hidden. Because for as much as old crap I watched, this is not one thing I've ever heard of. Yeah, so they had they had all kinds of sketches. They had, let's see. Um, so Square One comprised short sketches that introduced and applied concepts in mathematics, such as counting, uh, combinatorics, simple fractions, estimation, probability, and geometry. The sketches featured regular characters and were mainly parodies of pop culture icons, popular television commercials, or popular television shows. Sketches were presented in various formats, including music videos featuring a particular subject in mathematics and taught in the subject through song, like Roman numerals, obtuse and acute angles, percentages, negative numbers, etc., or comedic sketches, like General Mathpital, a, a parody of General Hospital, Nobody's In, a par parody of Faulty Towers, the British comedy about the hotel, um, or Late Afternoon with David Numberman, a parody of Late Night with David Letterman. Um, there was a... Uh, Weird Al actually performed a polka on Square One at one point called Patterns. Um, let's see, like... They had... A regular segment called Math Man, which was basically like a Pac-Man parody. Um, they had Math Court. Let's see, what else do they have? They had different game shows. MathNet. MathNet has its, like... MathNet has an entire fucking article... Like, it has its own article on Wikipedia outside of the main Square One article, which I'm just, I'm all about it. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was, it was, it was great. So, if you, if you would like to know more about Square One, I will put a link in chat to the Wikipedia article about Square One. Um, it, it's just, just beautiful, beautiful, like, Late 80s, early 90s, um, educational programming. Public television educational programming is just, just 
link to your Wikipedia article? I don't have a Wikipedia article. I'm not eligible. Why not? Because I'm not anyone of note. Uh, disagree. I mean, fine. You can disagree all you want. That doesn't mean that it makes it objectively true. I mean, or it just means that you haven't broken through to the regular public yet, so. Well, I mean, you know. Hey. Hey. Eventually. Hey, hey, hey streamer. Do you know what your, your Wikipedia page would say? I don't know, moderator. What the fuck would my Wikipedia page say? Bitch. God fucking damn it. <laughs> you're, you're such a little shit. Oh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the the original game show format of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego with the a cappella theme song performed by Rockapella. Yes. That was the best. Hold on. Okay, now I have to find I got to find the the theme cuz that was just one of my favorite things ever. Oh my god, this is this is it. This is I think this is it. All right, let me First, let's let's mute the tab so it doesn't like go ridiculously loud. Cuz YouTube has a tendency to do that. This is the good shit right here. Peter game was pretty good for this. Garmin San Diego. I love that I still remember like 80% of the lyrics too. Garmin San Diego. This is great. It would have sure It'll... but like it's it's essentially the, okay did you ever watch the game show no i played the the, the computer game okay all right I'm, again as again i don't sure i don't watch uh... sure sure so uh, the game show had a format it had a format similar to Jeopardy for the first bit of it, um, where I mean, it was a standard trivia round, and then afterward, your team, because I think it was teams of two, it's been so long. Okay. So, each episode, uh, oh, I guess it was individuals, okay. Um, so there was the, like, there's all the stuff that went on in the first round, which was the basic, like, question and answer, and then 
t- the two higher scoring of the three went on to round two to follow the crook to their next destination. Um, and they got like a brief from the chief on their destination. They got like a photo recon to describe different landmarks and venues in the location. Um, and then you had to like hidden behind three of the the things on like this map were the day stolen loot and a rest warrant and the crook. So you had to get the loot, the warrant, and then the crook. If you didn't get the loot and the warrant before the crook, you couldn't win. So you had to you like you had to get it in that order. The loot, the warrant, and then finally the crook. Um And then um, in the bonus round, like after you win, um, you could go to the bonus round. The host handed a portfolio to the winner. They would write, they would secretly write down like a, a destination if they were to win the grand prize. After which the, they would receive a call from the apprehended crook who instructed them to look for Carmen San Diego on a certain continent. Um, and then the chief gave them a list of 13 locations on that continent. Then they went to like this giant map that was on the floor and they had like all these like little circles with like all the different like countries or States or wherever, depending on where they were going. Um, and like they had to quickly identify seven of the locations on the map. So like you had the dots and then you had to go and like, they would say this and you would have to go put the put a marker where that place was. And if you got them all in time, um, then you captured Carmen San Diego and then they won the trip. And it was like, yeah, yeah. It was like a, yeah, you had like a minute to do it. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. This sounds relatively familiar. Like I've seen it. Like I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, so it was like I love the concept, and I think it would work today. Like if you had an in studio audience and contestants, like st- like standard game show format, um, a new car. No, um, so it like if you did the standard setup, then I think it would absolutely work again today. Um. I think yeah, but knowledge, knowledge game shows are, are a tough niche. They are like Jeopardy. Jeopardy is a stand, uh, 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 an old standby. Like, and don't get me wrong. It's a, I, I enjoy the niche, but they are a tough niche and you don't see a lot of them. No, you don't, you don't, but that's why this show works so well. Like they produced five seasons of it with like roughly 60 episodes per season. Like they produced like th- almost 300 episodes of this show it worked really well and then it fell yeah. off and i think this is like in this the time of reboots this would be a perfect time to reboot it um yeah, yeah. if it was going to get a reboot this would this would be the perfect time yeah and hidden like yeah like a nickelodeon or something like that perfect place to do something like this now <laughs> originally um it was a um 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 it was a PBS show. So it was like, it was on public television. So you could catch it on a PBS station. Um, but yeah, it like, it, it needs to come back. It really no, does. Nick would be a good, good place for it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like if any, if, if any, if any network could properly do a reboot of a kid's game show, Nick could do it. Um, well, isn't whose line is whose line is out? Then they aren't they still doing it like now? Yeah. Yeah, with yes, uh, Aisha with Tyler. Aisha Tyler hosts the host. It. Yeah, Aisha it's Tyler so hosts good. it instead so of Drew Carey, and it's it's hilarious because oh it's, it's so good. It's basically like good. all the old cast, except Drew Carey. Uh, except for Drew Carey, Aisha Tyler is hosting it instead. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, and, and she like the amount of times she gets involved in the the different 
bits is just it's so, phenomenal. Yeah, she she does She's an so outstanding good. job. Um, mm-hmm. I love her. Yeah, uh, I believe it is it is on ABC again. Um, but yeah, it's I think it's on ABC Family. Is it uh, Freeform? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Or no, it's on the CW now. That's where it is now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on it's on the CW now. So ABC Family is Freeform now, but it's not. It's on it's on the CW. So if you get a chance to go find it on the CW, you should watch it. It's really good. It's basically identical except for Aisha Tyler instead of Drew Carey, and she's just I mean she's hysterical, but it's really mm-hmm. good. And on that note, no. I know. I know. Speaking of TV and game shows and whatnot, um, we are out of time for tonight. Um, oh, that was a, this was a good night. This was a really, really good night. Um, uh, thanks again, Fritz, for being here, bud. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and again, you or anybody else, if you would like to come share for group therapy night, you are always welcome to come hang out with us. Um, come share whatever's on your mind, whatever you're thinking about. Um, very, 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 very happy to have you. Um, let's see. Uh, once again, don't forget, going for that follower goal. I'm trying, baby, I'm trying. So if you can spread the word, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I, I have that three month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate code. I I got it ready to go. I'm just waiting, waiting for the. Uh, yeah. I know the streamer you should follow. <laughs> He's a total shill for Microsoft, like you. You chuckle fuck. Um. Uh, love you, Viv. Thank way. you, Gene. Thank you so much for being here, Gene. I miss you. And we love your face, Viv. So, yeah, get wrecked or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, we have, don't forget, Friday we're doing the usual fork knives. Uh, we, may have a, we may have a guest playing with us. Um, I got to check with him and see how his schedule is. Uh, huh? But a friend of mine may be playing with us on Friday for fork knives. Um, so, I will... I will keep you all apprised of the situation. Uh, Hidden, if you if you would like to come join us, you know you're always welcome to. By the way, tell G, where the fuck was he last week? He was supposed to message me about it, and he didn't. He got as far as adding me as a friend on Discord, and that was it. So he's in he's in hot waters. Um, Sunday we're playing Farming Simulator 19. That was Nick's you pick. Uh, if you would like to pick, you can. Just save up your channel points, save up those hoppers, and you can pick what game that we play on Sunday Shenanigans. We've got Farming Simulator coming up this week, and next week we've got Overcooked 2, which Elena picked. That's actually her second pick now. Um, so that'll be fun. And then Monday, um, Monday we're doing um, a special show. We're starting early, so instead of 7.30 Eastern, I'm starting at 6 Eastern. I'm playing Golf With Your Friends with our dear friend Mo, uh, Firepower, and Krakow. Um, so that's going to be a fun and ridiculous time, I can tell already. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm, yeah, I got nothing else. Um, anything I miss? Like, comment, subscribe, stuff, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I did that one already. I did that part. Did you? I think so. Oh. Yeah. I'll I'm, do it again. Okay, do it again. All of that stuff. Again, again. <laughs> Matter, you came in at the end, buddy. Oh, I love you. Matter, I love your face. Love you, bud. Uh, let's see, who are we gonna go raid? Um, let's see. Do 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 do. <laughs> Giggity, lewd. Um, let's see, who are we? Oh, Snuggie's playing Unite. Let's go. Let's go watch. Let's go watch Snuggy play the Pokies Man's. That should be a good time. Oh my God, uh, Ali, you failed to inform me that he is dressed for the occasion. 
I, I didn't realize that was a thing I needed to inform you. I Listen, I'm excited now. Okay. You are now our Snuggie's dress informant, didn't That's... you know? Did you yeah, so Snuggie's cosplaying as adult Ash. All right. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to go watch this. This is going to be fantastic. Um, well, let's go raid Snuggie. Give him lots of love. He is, he is a fellow bear, and he's fantastic and plays fun games like the Pokemans Unite. Uh, so... Um, that's about it. That's all I got. See y'all Friday. Um, playing the fork knives and pew, 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 pews and all of that fun stuff. And then, um, that's about it. So y'all have fun. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye.